People want someone who is bold, relentless, who is unapologetic about the issues that they've been fighting for. New York City Councilwoman Carlina Rivera, born and raised on the Lower East Side to a mother who emigrated from Puerto Rico, has catapulted to the front of the race for New York's 10th Congressional District, which includes Lower Manhattan and Brooklyn neighborhoods like Park Slope, Red Hook, and Sunset Park. According to a new Data for Progress poll, Rivera is the choice of 17% of Democratic primary voters, followed by Assemblywoman Yulene New at 14% and former assistant U.S. attorney Dan Goldman at 12%. Rivera has picked up several endorsements lately from labor groups and fellow elected officials. Our labor movement has been important to ensuring that people know their rights and have access to good paying jobs. New has been a progressive champion in the state house and is supported by the Working Families Party. She's known on Twitter for directly communicating with supporters and meeting every dog she can on the campaign trail. Goldman is an experienced attorney who has raised more money than his competitors. He's positioning himself to lead on major issues of the day like guns and inflation. But front and center in his campaign is the experience working with congressional Democrats to lead the first impeachment of former President Trump, who may very well run again in 2024. The only candidate that has stood up to Donald Trump before is going to be incredibly valuable in Congress as we try to take back our democracy, to take back our fundamental rights. Perhaps just as interesting as who is doing well in this poll is who is not. Congressman Mondaire Jones, who moved from the Hudson Valley to the district, still needs to introduce himself, but is generally well-liked, according to the poll. And former Mayor Bill de Blasio finished second to last in the poll, featuring nine Democrats running. He was dismissive of polling in general on the campaign trail today. We all know it's an August election. We are not sure, any of us, who's going to show up to vote for an August election. So I don't think this poll tells us a whole lot, honestly.